Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're jumping back into the dream game because man, it's so close and I just I just want to work on it over and over again. The first thing I wanted to do is check out the comments from the last video because we changed a lot. Getting rid of this score meter and making the new one up in the middle was the main thing. So let's see what you guys thought about it. Bro, fix that score counter, make it the old one, man. Three likes. I feel like the GUI that displays your money is kinda big. I feel like you should be able to switch it off to the side. This will make you see the map. UI could use some work, but mechanics are awesome. Okay, we'll work on some UI today as well. Bro, delete that score meter. Either make it the old one or make a new one, which is smaller and to the side. Move the score meter up. It's a bit too invasive. I would like as little stuff on the screen as possible. The score meter's not great. It's big and the bikes on the sides are unnecessary. It'd be great to minimize it and increase the visibility. Also, crate menu can be upgraded. Upgraded to feel and look much nicer. Not gonna lie, I liked the before one better. Anyone agree? Fix the score counter, make it the old one. Fix that display score, bro. Old one's so much better. All right, guys. So if you missed the last video, this is the new score meter. And it seems a lot of people aren't too excited about it. So since you boys make it the people's champ of motorcycle games, we're gonna have to figure this out. And uh, I guess there's no better time than now. So I'm gonna jump into Photoshop and try to design something taking into account everybody's thoughts, right? More minimal, side of the screen, etc. Let's see what we can cook. Ignore this red shadow, it was mid-work, uh, but there was one other comment that said the crate UI seems a bit bland and could use some work. So we're gonna cook with this too, and we need to make this one a little different too. So we're just gonna have to cook everything, man, to a boil. All right, guys, we are back in studio. I got a little design idea together and Robo got it all working. Then we discussed how we wanted it to be animated because just a stagnant thing on the screen is not too great. And uh, we, we kind of, once again, we kind of cooked. Let me first show you guys these UIs. Here we now have a more full looking frame. We are gonna add a bit of padding or a space between the actual bike and the side because that looks a little bit off. But other than that, this looks way, way better. If we go to the crates menu, boom, it looks a lot more full as well. Just overall, a more complete vibe. And now, the moment everyone's been waiting for, and the moment where I realize if you guys love the new idea for the score meter, or hate it once again. The old score meter I did not like, and the new one you guys did not like, so I'm hoping we found a good middle ground. So first off, ignore the one on the top. This whole section, it's just not deleted yet. So ignore that one and focus only on the one that's like right above my webcam. So here it is, guys. Uh, every time you do a trick, the old one kind of pops out and fades away. Let's go ahead and smash this stuff. Look at that, guys. I think this one looks a lot better. It's off to the side of the screen and it's not covering any mobile controls. This leaves the whole play area open. Once again, this top one will be gone. And hopefully everybody likes this one a lot more than the last one. I know I do. With the score meter changed, once again, listening to your comments, let's get into a build. Now, what should we build? I'm thinking a place where you could customize your avatar, mainly the gear that you'll have in game. For example, helmets, goggles, vest, possibly protective gear. So we're going to need a place in the map that you can go and customize your gear. And personally, I think that gives the perfect use for misguided. This is a super important place within the game, or at least within the stunt scene in Chicago, where the game's based off of, and it didn't overly have a purpose just yet. Also, there's grass. I'll fix that later. I'm thinking we can make this a dressing room. Uh, I'll probably have to make this walkway go to it so players know they can come back here. And then in this, I should have plenty of room to actually build a room, <laughs> an interior room that you could go into to customize your gear. And I guess there's no better way to start than to, uh, to start.
Oh man, we got the UI upgrades. We have the new score meter, which is not in the full place just yet. It's in our private testing place. And now we have some changing rooms where you will hopefully be able to customize your gear. Let's head on over there or crash into a fence. I guess that's cool. That is a tall fence. All right, guys, check it out. Misguided, which does seem like, like it's, it's fine. It seems equivalent to like how tall it would be in real life, but it's also like, it feels small at the same time. So yeah. Anyways, the goal will be, there will probably be a door on here. The goal will be you walk up to the door. It puts you in this room locked. Like your avatar would be locked in the center of this and your camera angle would be something along these lines. And then on this side, you will have maybe a primary and secondary color option for your helmet. We have chest plates as well, but uh, they don't fit every type of avatar, only the blocky ones. So I don't think we'll do the full chest plates for the alpha, and instead we're gonna try to figure out a way to do them to where they could fit everybody's avatar. Oh, a flip into the sunset beautiful hopefully in the next dream game video we will have a working garage where you could start customizing your bikes equipping the wraps and the colors that you have gotten through the crates and i need to definitely build a lot more buildings because we are getting way too close to an alpha release anyways that will wrap it up for today if you did enjoy and want to see more content like this please make sure to like comment and subscribe have a great day later